In a previous video, we used the Euclidean distance tool to generate a raster where the cell values are the straight line distance from that cell to the input feature. So for the road, what is the straight line or horizontal distance from the cell to the road feature? A question I got on that video is whether the digital elevation model that I had behind all of this analysis was being incorporated or not. The answer is no. The Euclidean distance is straight line or horizontal distance, and the tool for incorporating the digital elevation model is path distance. So we're going to do that today. First, we're going to run the Euclidean distance and then have a comparison between path distance and Euclidean distance. So before we start, it's important to note that we are in UTM zone 19 north. The important part of that is that it is a coordinate system where the units are in meters. Our elevation model is also in meters. That's important for the path distance. You can't have a coordinate system with units in meters and an elevation model with elevations in feet without doing some conversions. So first, our tool Euclidean distance in Spatial Analyst. Bring that over here and we're going to use the roads as our input feature. I'm going to set the cell size to 10, which is the same resolution as my elevation model. Leave all other things default for this. OK. Think, think, think. Done. So there is our Euclidean distance, and that is the straight line distance. So every cell has the value how far is it horizontally to the nearest input feature. Now our other tool, search for tools, path, distance. That's also in Spatial Analyst. The input feature is going to be our roads. And our input surface raster is going to be our digital elevation model. All else remains the same. You could use the cost raster if you're doing a different kind of analysis where the cost or difficulty of getting over terrain is known. But for now, we're just going to use the input surface raster, which defines elevation. So, OK. Think, 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 think. Close. And now we'll turn that one on. You can switch back and forth. You can just look at these things. But the way these are symbolized, you can't get any useful information out of that. So I'm going to turn off the hill shade and elevation model. And I'm going to use the identify tool. If I click anywhere on the landscape, I have it set so it can identify from not just the topmost layer, but all visible layers. And these two are the visible ones. So we have the Euclidean distance. So this cell is 576.28 meters from the nearest input feature horizontally. But if you go over the terrain, it's 587.8. So if we look at our terrain here, let's find a spot that's got a pretty good hill. So right here. So we are going to remember that spot and identify from that location. And here we have a difference of 70, about 70 meters between our horizontal distance and our path distance. So that's how you incorporate the terrain into a raster distance surface.